Hi everybody and, and welcome to a new concept that, that, uh, that I'm working on with Ollie Kiohain, Oliver Kiohain. Um, the purpose of what I want to do is, is a lot of people ask me uh, about gambling and, and I get questions all the time. I don't mind the questions, it's just that with my, with my real job I don't get to answer them or spend much time in dealing with those things. And the market in South Africa regarding gambling is a very unsophisticated market. Um, and so what, what, what I've done is I've, I've invited Oliver to come in. Uh, we've given him 50,000 Rand to invest across 10 betting sites yeah. where you can talk to the, the people through how to open up an account, which, is, which, which betting sites are the ones, the easiest ones to, to work on. So it's almost as if I'm teaching anybody that has an interest in gambling how to do it from, from start to finish. Now, you, have you ever placed a bet in your life? No, I've never never placed a bet, so it's coming from a completely yeah. sort of new yeah. area. You can't even afford a haircut, so how? how no, do you yeah, know? <laughs> I'll sort uh, that out next once I've placed I'm the first kidding. bet. I'm just kidding. Um, so w the the idea is is to to give you uh, fifty fifty thousand rand for you yeah. to look at the ten sites in South Africa. I'm not even sure if there is ten decent sites in South Africa, to be honest. Yeah. And um, I have my favorites, but then I've been doing this for a long time. So what we wanted to do, what I wanted to do is give people a perspective on gambling and betting from a layman, from someone that has no experience yeah. and see if I can turn you into, that's for, for argument, say the money boy. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's also like we're not really, I mean, my age group isn't really going to be playing with real money yet. So if we can get good habits going, I think. Um, yeah. You know, at a young age and actually understand betting. With gambling, most people look at it and say, okay, let's how, how much money can you afford to lose? Yeah. And then that's what you take into, into, into gambling. Even, even that premise of what you can afford to lose mm -hmm. means that you've never really thought about having that money returned to your account. You, most people see gambling yeah. as, a, as an entertainment activity. Mm -hmm. The hook comes in from gambling when you place your first bet and it's the excitement that you get. Yeah. That's called a serotonin rush. That's the, that's the, that's the problem for most gamblers is mm -hmm. they get addicted. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things that I look at and do for, for on these sites is, is I gamble, but I don't gamble every single day. I'm yeah. not looking at something every single you know, I look at the markets and if there's something that's interesting or a big television event in sports that I want to watch, then I'll have a punt on it, but it's not its not something I do every day. How do you find the sort of emotional investment into it though? Because I mean a lot of... Zero, I don't have any. Yeah. Yeah, not one not one side? No, not even, not look, even one, one, I've, I'll bet against... The only <laughs> weird thing I do is bet against my teams in hopes of a reverse psychology, meaning that I hope <laughs> that I lose the bet, yeah. you know? So, but a lot of the times I bet against my teams. I have no emotional attachment to to, to betting whatsoever. There, to me, I look at the numbers, it's a numerical analysis. You, you're looking yeah. for the probable outcome. And is there a sport that you, that you sort of avoid? No, no, I mean, I grew up in Wales as a kid, so rugby is, 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 uh, is part of my blood. And then I moved to Canada and spent 17 years there, sort of hockey, baseball, basketball, um, American football, I love yeah. all, those, all those sports. And then um, moved back to, to Wales and then to South Africa. So I, no, there's, there's certain sports that are better. I mean, baseball's a, a statistical, more of a statistical game than any that I know. Um, the one dodgy sport, and I hate to say this, and I have no, you know, other than just, is cricket. Because, you know, yeah. the, because of the Asian, the sub, the... the uh, all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. All that's going on behind the scenes, exactly. And, yeah. and you know, the biggest bet I ever lost was, was, uh, was one that Hansi Cronier uh, really? Yeah, the, sure. the draw in Durban or yeah. in Pretoria, when they drew, when they were drawing against England, and for all money it could only be a draw, and then Hansi declared, and, and uh, South Africa went on to lose that test. Uh, I lost a lot of money that day, <laughs> but anyway, so that's the that's the thing, and, and that's the thing that we want to do. I want to we want to talk people through mm. what what it's like to to try and open an account. You know, yeah. I, the biggest question I get asked all the time is who do I bet with. So, you know, what I want to try and do is, is we want to try and keep track of each account that you have yeah. and, um, and see how my advice uh, can help, see if, we can, if I can turn you into someone that's never placed a bet into someone that, um, that could make, just make money and, yeah. and make a return on investment. I think the sort of romance of betting and making a return is numbed quite quickly when you actually get down to negotiating those websites though. So like the past week in terms of 
setting them up, it's like you go there and it's just things are everywhere. You know, there's a, obviously the registration process, verification process, depositing the actual money, which half the time was deducted from my account, but it wasn't reflecting on the betting website. So it was a matter of actually having to call the helpline and having them sort of bumble about like maybe try to do it again that's a lot lot of money that you've deposited in well if people if, <laughs> if, if if adults were given the same sort of tests and same rigors of having children saying okay you can have a children when you comply with with this yeah that they did to gambling we wouldn't have half the social problems yeah exactly <laughs> i think i think a lot of people might get scared off by yeah by that thing you know just chatting to you i've picked up that it's frustrating opening an account that it's yeah. not as easy as it should be, or it's not as easy as you thought it might be. I think it's more that it that it should be, yeah, like you said, it should, it should be such a simple thing. And you can yeah. see that the the verification process is justified and it makes sense, but it's just it's just so weirdly sort of handled by the by the websites. You know, it should be a very clear thing of like sign up here, yeah. username, password, upload your documents, we'll have them done in 24 hours, deposit your money once it's uploaded and start betting. But yeah. so time, do you know the sorry, sorry, go yeah. ahead. No, I mean, it's just, it's half the time. It's like you're, you're searching where to fika your documents on the website, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're calling the line to say like, okay, well, what must I email it to? Because you guys said it's verified, but now it hasn't been verified or the money hasn't come off. So it should like, I mean, everything that the, interestingly enough, the two foreign sites that I looked at were, well, it was actually not that interesting. It's it, uh, kind of obvious, but it was like, it was like the easiest process. They followed two different websites, followed the same sort of landing page and no like fika documents required. It was just, uh, your name, username, sort of password, took you onto the next page, like you verified, place your bets, you know, and it was very, very similar things. Whereas like the other eight that we that I've kind of, you know, been signing up with, everything's in a different place, you know, everything has yeah. a different format. Half of them have apps, half of them don't have apps. Some are on Apple, some are only on Android, you know, it's like there's no um, consistency to like the betting sphere. Yeah. And you haven't bet, uh, you haven't, you haven't placed a bet. I haven't, any of those, I haven't those, placed my bet yet. Yeah. And how many? Do you, can you just go through the ones that we are doing, for the sure? The, the doing. websites that you're uh, trying got, to open account. The the the, the yeah, betting so, betting agencies. So we've got trying. we've got sports betting. Uh, yeah. Sports Pisa, Pesa, Pesa, I think. Yeah. Pesa. Yeah. Pesa. Yeah. Bedway. Um, World sports think, betting. Yeah, I've got a. I can pull, okay. Yeah, pull yeah. Pull list up on my phone quickly. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, of course, cool. so we've got Super Bets, yeah. Um, yeah, Sports Pacer, Betway, Sporting Bets, Sunbet, yeah. um, World Sports Betting, mm -hmm. Hollywood Bets, BetSafe, uh, Player Bets, and then there was um, Betson as well. But BetSafe and Betson look yeah. like so you can't we, upload we, we, in rands. So. Your, your brief for me is only to bet with, with local markets, yeah. local betting, and that are licensed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so I think you know, I still have to look into the bets and the bet safe ones about whether I can actually deposit in rands, but you can't actually place your bets in rands. You have to choose. I think there's five or six currencies that they've, they've allowed there. So, and your, your mates or friends, do they do any of them bet? A few of them. I think there's, there's quite a big, uh, like weirdly enough, there's a huge soccer culture. Um, I think I've, I've, my, my opinion is still that it has to do with FIFA. My PlayStation broke in grade nine and I <laughs> stopped playing FIFA. So I haven't really followed yeah. the soccer trend, but like because the game's so well developed, guys understand transfers, like yes. the transfer network, they actually are very involved in. And there's so many good apps and so many good facilities around soccer that they just aren't around rugby because rugby isn't at the end of the day a professional game just yet to the same extent. That well, it's, is, it's, 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 a, it's a professional yeah. game being but run by amateurs. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So there, there, there's much more of an interest in soccer. And so I know a lot of the guys play so kind of like accumulator bets. I'm still not even, we touched on it briefly, but I'm still not sure. Easy time. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I just need to place a normal bet first and then yeah. I'll get on to that. But, I'll, te um, I'll, teach you, I'll teach you the ways. Yeah, young, I'm pretty hopeful. Young I can, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come back to them with a bunch of money and get them to follow us. <laughs> but, <laughs> with a bunch we'll of see. money. I think, yeah. I mean, it'll be frustrating if they're just punting and sort of beating me, so. Yeah. Well, what sports interest you? Um, definitely, I mean, definitely rugby. I'm a yeah. rugby guy. Uh, it's the most difficult sport to, to bet on that I, really? I find. Yeah. But Though pay, I do but well. pay off well. They all pay off well, yeah. if you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> if you know stuff. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm quite excited to get into soccer a bit more through betting, I think. Yeah. That's something that, that I'm pretty keen to do. Um, Interesting that you, that you said about cricket with all the stuff behind the scenes because I actually was always under the impression that that was quite a, a lucrative one too. It is if you know what the bookies are trying to manipulate. Yeah, I mean, you know, the reality yeah. is, is there's been more um, 
exposed corruption in mm. cricket betting than any, any other sport that I know of. So that's why you know I'm, I'm not I'm not labeling the whole the whole thing as a cheat. But yeah. you know, there's certain games, there's so many meaningless games that are played in cricket um, before tournaments. Yeah, that there's no reason. You know, when you look at it, it's the most it's the most obvious game for temptations to exist. There, are there a lot more sort of semantics to bet on in cricket though than in a game like soccer? Or like yeah, they, they, there's, like... there's markets on how many runs will that player score, how many um, ducks will be bowled. I mean, there's just yeah. so many Small open things. markets. And, and those markets are more prevalent and exist in Asia than they do here. Asia is an incredibly uh, enlightened yeah. betting market. You know, so people grow up with it. They know, they know what they're doing. It's it's a, you know they see it as a way to escape poverty. Yeah. So the, the, and there's a billion there's a billion uh, Indians, <laughs> probably more now. Yeah. Um, there's there's the Pakistanis. Pakistan is a big uh, populous country. I mean, bet, betting's huge in Asia. Yeah. There's lots of people to actually just be placing. Yeah. Them. And how how prominent is sideline betting still? I was hearing someone chatting about that the other day when you're betting and you're seeing it in live action and quickly messaging people to place bets or quickly placing bets before it comes on on the TV, that sort of, that camera delay. That five second delay. Yeah, yeah there like was guys that actually, I, that I, I didn't know anything, but I, but I heard these urban legends of guys mm. that would go around the, the world at cricket matches, live cricket matches where that five second, six second delay is, and I think it varies in different, yeah. different regions. And they would be putting bets down, um, they would be putting bets down on on Betfair was is to me the best site in the world. I haven't okay. used it for years because I'm not allowed. It's a foreign site. But yeah. um, how does that actually work? Just in terms of the foreign site, do we, if you're overseas, are you allowed to? No, or you, you have to have property you, overseas you, too. Well, you've got to you you've got to live in the you've, you've got to live yeah. outside of South Africa in order to, to bet on these sites. Oh, okay. You know, so it's uh, it's amazing how unregulated the internet the internet world is. But when yeah. it comes to gambling. It's incredibly Super. regulated. It's yeah. a, you know, it's a I very know. puritanical approach. But interestingly enough, the America there was a there was a, a court case that that, uh, that was uh, that the ga uh, gambling institutions won mm -hmm. in America, where gambling in America is now being regulated, is now being legalized more and more in each state. Yeah. Do you so, think, do you think it's one of those things where they're legalizing it to actually like alleviate the negatives? around it you know, no they can they're make doing it more accessible so they're doing it because of, uh, of of um these uh, uh, because in Las in in uh, nevada and in new jersey um gambling's legal yeah. so the other states said well if you're if it's allowed to be legal in there it's got to be legal why here. is it why why is it illegal for for us to have it in new york why can't yeah. we do it in new york why can't we do it in in, in any of the other 49 states and so it was an obvious yeah. it was an obvious it was, i was amazed at how long it took to come so you, when when you started when you started betting, how old, how old were you? Were you living in Canada at the time? <laughs> um, before I put my first bet on, Your I mean, my bet. my dad placed my first bet <laughs> uh, for me at four on, on the Grand National. You um, have a head start on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. um, but I, I got into it in university and and yeah. uh, and betting and just something I always followed. I always I love sports. Yeah. So to me. So. I mean, you talk about the sort of betting market being quite uneducated here. Is there a lot more of a betting culture among, you know, college students and stuff abroad than there is here? Like, is there an atmosphere to betting well, that you haven't Well, even in the States, in? when you look at handicap betting, which is uh, point spreads, yeah. every, sports, every sports outlet, whether it be um, digital, uh, TV or print, they quote game spreads with handicaps. Yeah, it's in their culture. It's in the way that they report and yeah. see games. It's a, yeah, it's, it's an important factor of the actual sport. Yeah, whereas yeah. handicap betting here is is still. Yeah, there's one spread run every Thursday on the bookies, sort of view. Yeah, it's not like yeah, it's not a constant theme throughout the week. No, and, and but, but there's North American sports are, are in a daily occurrence. You know, yeah. um, you have Major League Baseball. Your teams play 162 times a year. You got basketball. Those teams play 80, yeah. 80, 82 times. That a year. is something I'm excited about. Is actually getting into the sort of American sports through betting. It's like the same with the, the soccer. You know, yeah. actually. And one of the sites, that, which you wouldn't have picked up on yet, uh, WSB, have yeah. actually got uh, streaming rights for the NFL. 
Really? Yeah, it's amazing. So, so if you're registered with them, you can... If you register with them, you can watch free NFL football. Sure. Yeah, which is quite exciting. So yeah. that'll save me $100 uh, this, this, this year. Yeah, geez, what, what, what would you have to... I'd go through Apple and get onto uh, mm -hmm. NFL.com. No, uh, NFL.com. Okay. Yeah, or NFL Game Pass. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I've, got, I've still got three. I think I'm waiting on three verifications and mm -hmm. then two accounts to still deposit into and then sort of... Uh, over the obviously won't place any bets around the warm-up games this weekend i feel like maybe mondays well i wouldn't mind you start playing a little bit not yeah. not going crazy but just start making some bets so Feeling i can it out yeah so i can hopefully correct you could be a natural and you don't need any help and we won't run any shows and you can do your own thing yeah um, just show them my fund exactly <laughs> of course and we'll set that up on the on the money man uh, thing awesome yeah so it should be fun um have a couple small bets this this, this weekend Okay. Uh, Big Brother will be watching you though. Uh, yeah, okay, we've got man. access. I look forward to it. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks Kev.